Hi everyone, my name is Philip and welcome to my channel. I recently got myself some PowerColor AMD 6900 XTs and I've set them up in Hive OS and today I'm going to share my overclock settings and the results I'm getting. My uh, AMD 6900 XTs have been running for almost a week on these settings and I'm getting a uh, very constant uh, sort of 63.6 uh, mega hash from them. Um, I'm using a, a core clock of 1330 uh, megahertz. I did start with a high core clock um, up around 1350, but I found I was able to reduce it to 1330, and then that reduced the uh, energy consumption. The um, voltage uh, took me quite a bit more time. So I've got them running at 800 uh, millivolts at the moment, and they are very stable at that. I found I could get down to um, 650 or 700 millivolts on some cards, but what would happen is if I left them running for um, 12 hours or 24 hours, the mega hash kept slowly going down. Um, so I've gone back up to uh, 800 uh, millivolts again because I'd rather have the higher hash output and the stable performance um, than save the uh, energy. And um, I find the mem clock works best at um, 1,075 megahertz. Now, one other thing I didn't expect, and that I found the temperature I run the RAM at quite important. So I use HiveOS's uh, smart fan settings, and I've set a target memory temperature of uh, 80 degrees Celsius. If I uh, increase the, uh, reduce the target to 70 degrees, so the fans uh, run faster, my mega hash output actually drops. Um, so uh, I've ended up going for uh, 80 mega, uh, sorry, 80 degrees. It's the first time I've had a card that's sort of been sensitive to the, that as the temperature dropped, the performance dropped. I also did a experimenting for about a half a dozen miners. And um, considering what you end up getting, which is basically how much the miner um, produces versus less its dev fee, I found uh, G Miner gave me the best results overall. So I've got um, G Miner running on all the cards as well now. Another interesting thing to note is how uh, Auto Fan is running the fans at different speeds. So the first card is at 28%, the second card's got the fans running at 40%, and the last card is at 55%. Uh, let's go and uh, have a look at the card so you can see how that's affected it. This is a uh, mining cave, uh, 8 GPU um, stackable frame, and uh, these are the 360 uh, 900 XTs. So this is the one with the fans running at 28%, 40%, and 55%. Um, it's interesting the difference, so that the air gets sucked in through fans here, and then blasts, blasts up through here. So. This fan has uh, plenty of space around it, and um, the fan's only run at 28%. Um, now this one is interesting because because the, the fans end up sucking the air down here over the back plate of this card in front, uh, and then it blasts up, and they run at 40%. Now this is the hottest one, and its back plate is uh, to um, the outside of the mining frame. Uh, it has plenty of clear air, but it still um, needs the most cooling. So it sucks the air down, which cools this one, Blast it up here, but there's nothing um, blowing air over the back plate on this card. So, um, yeah, I just find it interesting that um, it ends up the card that has um, a lot of space ends up would effectively run hotter. Um, you'll notice I don't run any fans on the front or the back of this rig, and um, it's because I don't need um, the extra cooling, so I don't want to spend the extra uh, energy running uh, extra fans that aren't required. Okay, I hope uh, my overclocking settings for this card are of use to you, and uh, happy, happy mining, bye.